I have a brand new Galaxy S20 and we're about to find out how many drops it can handle before it breaks. Samsung's new S20 may have a new paint job, but it's built pretty similar to last year's S10, with Gorilla Glass 5 on the back, Gorilla Glass 6 on the front, and that beautiful curved display that historically has not done very well in these types of tests. Let's see if this one is any different. Like last year's S10, this one comes with a pre-installed screen protector out of the box, so for the purpose of this test, we have decided to leave it on. Our first drop will be from hip height, which is roughly about three feet, with the screen side down. In three, two, one. Okay. The good news is the screen did not break. In fact, there's very little damage to the screen protector itself save from just a little scrape over here on the bottom left hand corner but what did uh, sustain most of the damage and looks pretty bad uh, is the metal frame it's got two big dents on either corner this one right here you can see and this one over here on the top which is the worst one of all i just think this phone got lucky because had it hit on the glass we wouldn't be talking about the glass being intact Next up, same test, except this time the camera will be facing down. Here we go, hip height in three, two, one. Well, that definitely did it. Uh, this one over here on the top looks to be the worst. It has, obviously on the corner, it has a huge crack right here and a little bit of damage to the metal frame on both corners. And then just a lot of spider webs that wrap around the, the camera module. You can see the scuff marks on the frame up here as well. Uh, there's even a piece of glass that fell from here uh, right between the frame and the glass itself. And even the camera module, the frame, has a couple of scuff marks, obviously not as bad as the damage to the glass. And then over here on the bottom, you can tell that the phone hit right here and then the cracks just started expanding outwards into this other corner. There's a little bit of damage to the glass on the other corner, but obviously this one was the one that did the best. It's just the curve on the back is so much more pronounced that it definitely makes it a liability. This phone is already broken, but because the screen is still intact, we're gonna continue on with our tests, this time from about eye level, screen side down. Three, two, one. That's bad. This glass shattered underneath the screen protector and I don't even want to know what awaits me when I peel it off because to truly assess the damage, I'm gonna to have to peel it back and show you guys. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's glass that's stuck on the screen protector itself. So obviously over here, there's just a lot of damage on this corner down here. There's glass coming off the phone. I can see through the glass to the, to the OLED screen. And then there's a massive crack running in the middle of the screen. I hadn't even noticed, but now I'm, that I'm taking a look, look at the back. This is a work of art. It continued to shatter. And now it just looks like a waterfall of glass falling to the side of the phone. It's, it's kind, of, kind of pretty. This phone is a mess, so I'm not gonna continue dropping it. It seems like the front held up better than the back. The first drop only caused damage to the metal frame. The back broke on the second drop, and then by the third drop, it all went haywire. So definitely put a case on this phone and know that that screen protector is more about scratch resistance than protecting it from this type of drop. All in all though, at least it did slightly better than the S20 Ultra, which we also tested, so check out that video once you're done here.